I'm sure you know how to make a siphon. It's fairly simple. You get a tank of water, put a hose pipe into it, then you suck on the end of this hope so the water goes up and over, and if you're lucky, out. And it should keep flowing as long as there's no air leak that gets into it. Too close, so the top tank is empty. But what a mess! It can go everywhere and you can have several false starts, and you may not much like the taste of what you're siphoning. So there has to be a better way, and indeed there is. There's several better ways, and they're known as self-starting siphons. They're very interesting. Some of them are very simple. That one, for example, is a self-starting siphon. It's just a kink of tube, glass tubing. If I put my finger on the end here and lower the, lower the first leg into this tank of water, notice that the water level comes right up to the edge of the tank. That's important. Now, let me take my finger off, and you'll see that the water rises in that first leg and overshoots, so it rises above water level. Here we go. Bang, up it comes and bounces down again. Momentum carries it up above water level. So if I do that again, but bring the kink in the tubing right down to water level, the water should go up and over and out. And there it is, siphoning away a self-starting siphon with a bit of help from its friends. That'll continue until the water level drops down to the first leg. Well, let's not let it do that. We'll take that out now, put the water back so the water level's up to the edge again, and look at a self-starting siphon, which is a lot better because you don't have to put your finger over the end. It's shaped like this. It's very cunning. In fact, it looks very much like the letter M, but the first hill here is slightly lower than the second hill. And it's made of tubing that's not too thin. That's important as well. So letter M, low hill, high hill. And this is what happens. When we lower it in, water climbs up there. It comes roaring over there and has such speed when it gets to the bottom that it comes up and over and out, and it starts the siphon itself. At least that's the theory. Let's see what happens. Watch it closely. We lower it in, water level comes up to that first bend, over, down, around, and out. And it only just made it. In fact, it wouldn't have if that hill were too tall or the water level weren't right up to the edge there. 